Let's get some map charts into our Google Sheets, just like the ones that you see here. Now, if you want to follow along in the description below, there will be a link that will give you access to a source file with two sheets in there. As you can see here, we have our first sheet. This will show you exactly what this will look like when we finish. And then our second sheet, this is where you can follow along. So go ahead and make a copy of that file. Now Google Sheets lets us add many different types of charts and one such type is the map chart. So here, let's go ahead and select our data. Here I've got countries and the population of that country in the year 2020. Now once I've selected my data, all I have to do is go to the top where it says insert and then select my chart. Now it will automatically default to this pie chart. Now obviously we do not want to use a pie chart for this, so let's go ahead and change the chart type on the right hand side. Here I'm going to select all the way at the bottom the map chart type. Now there are two different types. The first is a geo chart and the next one is a geo chart with markers. So let's go ahead and select the first one. Okay, we've now got all that data represented on our chart, but we do still need to tweak our chart a little bit. As you can see, we have a world chart here. What I can do is I can go to the top where it says customize and under geo, I can select a different region. I'm going to select the Asian region because the data used here is all from Southeast Asia. So let's go ahead and select Asia. This zooms into the area. And as you can see now, when hovering over these countries, I get all those values that have come straight from my data set. I can also tweak the colors. So let's say that I want the lowest population group to be green, the mid yellow, and then the very highly populated countries red. There we go. You can see we can change those colors around. Now let's resize this map and place it at the bottom. So we're going to just move it underneath that data set. Let's do this one more time. And this time let's select the European countries. So here we're going to select our data set and go to insert chart. Again, it defaults to the pie chart. No problem. We change it. And this time let's select the map chart with markers. We're going to let it populate. There we go. And we are going to customize it because we are in the geographical area of Europe. Let's go ahead and select Europe as our region. And let's leave the minimum to red and maximum to green. We can move this chart to the side now. So let's just move that chart next to our data set. Now there's a couple of other things we can do now that we've created these charts. First of all, we can export these charts. So when I click on this chart, I will get the option here at the top and I click on those three dots to download this chart. I can download it as a PNG image. And this image can then be used in other programs. So here you can see I have that PNG image of my chart. Another thing I can do is I can click on those three dots and I can ask to publish the chart. Now when I publish the chart, I make it live online and people can access it. So they don't need access to the raw data, but they do get access to my chart. Another thing I can do is move it to its own sheet. Now that chart lives in a separate sheet. Here you can see we have that sheet, the chart lives here, and at the top we can again copy the chart, edit this chart, publish our chart, or download our chart. And that's how you can add your own map charts to Google Sheets. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch this next video for even more Google Sheets tricks.